Hey guys, it's Jen from Homestead How. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to bulk grocery shop and save a ton of money on your homestead going to Amish grocery store. So we frugally shop at Aldi's, we frugally shop at Costco, sometimes Walmart, but this is by far the most that we bought for the cheapest and at bulk prices. So for example, this little bottle cost $41 on online. You can see I bought it for $4.09. Are you kidding me? And stay tuned to the end to see some of our favorite homestead photos. So before you say there's no Amish country around you, check Google, ask your friends, ask around. You'd be surprised at how many Amish stores are around you that you don't even know about. In today's video, we're stopping at an Amish store. We're gonna do some frugal Amish grocery shopping and we're gonna take you along for the ride and hopefully teach you a few things. We've been frugally shopping for years at Costco, Sam's Club, all these, all these, Walmart, all the grocery stores. We found this Amish grocery store near our house, and there's surprisingly there's a lot of Amish grocery stores all over the country. We're in Wisconsin, they're in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, anywhere you can think of. This place is amazing, though. It's completely Amish, unlike some Amish stores, like yeah, that one. Right. There's one in Westfield, the opposite way of us, and we went there before thinking, oh, this is going to be really neat. So we go inside, and they have lights on, they have, you know, the heat on in there. That's an Amish store where they sell some Amish products. It's still kind of cool, but this is a truly Amish-run place. Um, I'll show you a clip. They have all of these um, sunlights. They don't have any lights. There's no electricity. It's all sunlight in there, and it's really cool. And they have a huge stove, which we like because we heat our entire house through our wood-burning stove. And um, it's completely off-grid, but the prices are amazing. Yeah. And if you want to talk about a group of people that likes to cook stuff from scratch, like homesteaders do, like us, Jen's doing, been doing a ton of baking, pizzas, cookies, bread, homemade, everything. Who better to learn from than the Amish or to purchase your ingredients from than the Amish? Right. I, I have a huge amount of respect for the Amish, and I think there's so much as homesteaders that we can learn from them um, in terms of going off grid, in terms of cooking stuff from scratch. I'm gonna take you through, but we're gonna be respectful because the Amish don't like to be photographed, so we're not gonna show any of their faces, right. and we're just gonna kind of discreetly uh, film some of the stuff in there, and then when we come out, we'll do a little recap and show you our entire haul. So come shopping with us in the Amish grocery store and see what we find. So the first thing that catches my eye is this fresh honey they sell here. It's honey that's made right here in the USA and right here in town. There was a great variety of honey and I was excited to try a bottle out. Next I come across these beautifully handmade soaps. I love crafting things so I know how much time and hard work goes into each one of these soaps. I especially love these because they don't have anything extra added to them and they are mild and non-drying and they smell wonderful. Next is the baking aisle. This has to be my favorite aisle as it is everything you would need to bake something. I found these cute little cupcake liners and I bought a few last time I was here but I grabbed just one more. For the price you couldn't go wrong. I wished I grabbed a few of these tinned containers as I love making handmade bread. Oh well, I'll be back sometime. On the other side of this aisle is all sorts of vanilla and flavorings. I have never seen such a variety of vanilla choices. I did some research before we came here as I was here a few days prior just looking around and I was looking at this vanilla they had here. The clear vanilla caught my eye. I've never seen clear vanilla before but I was researching it and it looked pretty good. So I found this. It was $4.09, right? So get this. You look on, you look on the internet, it's $42. They also have a ton of flavoring and food coloring. I bought this minty chocolate flavoring to make some yummy cookies with. I'll have to ask my mother-in-law Liz for some cookie recipes as she makes amazing, amazing cookies. Then I see Carrie grabbing for some coconut oil. He knows I use it a lot for my crafts. I create sugar scrubs with it. The girls use it for their hair. It's really good for your hair, but we also use it for cooking. So when he grabbed for the bigger container, I was really happy. Carrie grabbed a few bags of popcorn. The girls love to have popcorn when watching a movie at home, so he threw a few bags in. I was really surprised by the price, not to mention the variety of kernels. We looked down at the edge of the aisle and saw some King Arthur flour. 
My sister-in-law told us that this is a great brand and I do see a lot of recipes calling for King Arthur flour. So we put a few bags in. They were only $2.25 for a whole five pound bag. We then came across a whopping 50 pound bag of russet baking potatoes. Oh my gosh, guys, this bag is huge. Carrie had to make room in the cart for it. Emma loves to make homemade fries and we do use quite a bit of potatoes while making homemade dinners, so I know that these won't go to waste. But guys, this was 50 pounds and it was only $10. I mean, come on, where can you get a 50 pound bag of huge baking potatoes for only $10? I don't know of any place. I came across a huge variety of hot chocolate and cappuccino mixes. Naturally, I had to throw a few of these in the cart. I don't go to Starbucks, but once in a while I'll treat myself to a gas station cappuccino drink, but even then it costs almost $2 per drink. Each one of these bags were huge and it was less than $4 a bag. These bags will go a long way and I can't beat the price or the variety. This store is huge and we've been here for a while already, but it feels as though we are just getting started. At the back of the store, they have homemade noodles. I know, I know, you could probably buy these noodles cheaper at a regular store, but these are homemade and they only have a few ingredients. It gets a bit dark in this part, but there are no ceiling lights and they only have a few windows and some skylights, but I love it about this store. All right, all right, back to the noodles. So they have the noodles here and they also have pre-made soup mixes, which come in really handy when you're tight on time or just want to make something really quick and not mess around with all the different ingredients. This last aisle is pretty cool. They have their heater in here, which heats the whole store and it was rather warm in there, especially that it was winter time. Down this aisle, they have everything you might need for your home. They even have these beautifully handmade table liners they have kitchen gadgets and gizmos, baking sheets, supplies, utensils, pretty much everything you would need down this aisle. I forgot to look for something, so I had to go back down this aisle where they have a variety of flour, baking powder, baking soda, yeast. I need to stock up on a few things, so I was lucky I went down this aisle again. I did another price check when I got home and I found out that this yeast was a great price from here. I paid $3.25 for a pound of it, whereas if I was to purchase this from Walmart, it would have been almost $12. Most of these items I am buying here are well worth the money and my time coming here, and I have not been disappointed. On the other side of this aisle is an abundance of spices and herbs. I have never seen so many, and half of them I didn't even know what they were. <laughs> Carrie and Alyssa smoke a lot of meat on our Yoder smoker, and he goes through a lot of rubs, so he made a list of what he needs to create his own rubs for a fraction of the price he would spend at a large grocery store or even online. This aisle has all of the baking supplies again, and I missed it while looking at other things, so I had to swing back and come down this aisle. I wish Emma was here with me as she loves baking and she would love to pick out any of these things herself. While going towards the front of the store, Carrie noticed some huge bags of flour, sugar, and oats. There was such a variety of flour, we weren't really sure which bag to get, but we bought a 55 pound bag of Dakota Miller's Choice flour and a huge 16 pound bag of oats. I plan to make some oatmeal raisin cookies with the girls, and Emma loves to have oatmeal for breakfast every morning, so this will not go to waste. Alright guys, we are finally finished. What seems like hours of shopping, which I really didn't mind a bit, we're finally finished. We have a huge cartload full and are happy to be done. Not only are the Amish friendly, but they are really quick at checking you out. As you can see, they don't have an electric cash register like we have here in our normal stores, but a really cool old-fashioned register and a weight machine. I kind of wish I was born in the earlier days so I could experience things not made in the modern days as today as we have it now, but I probably would like to be where I am today anyway. But just looking at how they do this is just so amazing and stuff that we take for granted every day. Okay. 164.39 because we added uh, the potatoes on. She forgot to charge us for the potatoes. Yeah. 164.39. And I know that's a lot of money, but we got a ton of bulk oh food, my gosh. flour, noodles. Yeast. We have enough potatoes to last us a year. We have enough yeast to last potatoes, us a year. Um, the amount of bread we can make alone from that stuff and the potatoes. Yeah. 
Like, if this was a Great Depression, we could go a year on potatoes and homemade bread with that yeast. And that was good flour we got. I was, yeah, exactly. They had, we bought a big, was it, 50 pound bag of flour. But then they also had little packs of flour of the King Arthur, which is really good. My sister in law tells me to get it all the time. It's the brand of it. So thank you, Holly, for saying that. And we that. got unbleached flour. And we're learning more about flour, but we have a lot to learn. So we're going to do more research because they had like 10 different types of flour in there. I'm like, yeah. I don't even know what to get. Um, but we're going to head home now, and Jen's going to do a comparison on some of the things, like the vanilla, like the I flour, like the potatoes. And we're yeah. going to show you what you would have paid at Costco, Aldi's, or Walmart, the other three places that we would normally go for frugal shopping, and compare it to this. Oh, the noodles, too. Bags and bags of noodles. Some of them even said homemade noodles there. All right, guys, we're home from the Amish store. I was really excited to do a price check when you're out in the Amish country. There's no internet. So I was just looking up this Butcher Boy uh, coconut oil. I thought $12 was a little bit expensive, but it actually was not. So it was $12.75 for, let's see, 120 ounces, so one gallon. So I looked on, on Walmart and it's $40.89. And get this one, guys. So if you're a baker, I've never seen clear vanilla before, but I was researching it and it looked pretty good. So I found this, it was $4.09, right? So get this, you look on you look on the internet, it's $42. So next time you're looking to stock up on something, be sure to check around your area to see if there is an Amish store near you. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. We bought all of this for half of what I would have paid at a large chain store. Hope you guys liked this video. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. As promised, at the end of each video, we leave some of our favorite homestead pictures.